Hello guys, in my today's video I'm going to teach you guys how to cut short gown. How to cut straight short gown with design. So as you can see, I just fold my fabric into two. So the length I'll be using for this short gown is 28. Twenty-eight plus one inches allowance for my folding. I'm going to fold it. I'm going to use lining to, to turn it to turn the damper. So I'm going to use one inches. So all together is thirty. The length I'll be using is thirty. So right now, what I'm cutting now is the back. Is the back fabric guys sorry i was <laughs> my baby just collect my teeth so i went to take another one so the length i'll be using as i said is 30 29 plus 1 inches seam allowance so the measurement i'll be using today the hip is 36 36 divided by 4 give us 9 plus 2 inches allowance that is 11 plus one and a half inches allowance for my zip that's all together is going to be 12. so as you can see this i just cut at this the front while this the back so guys, for the front part, I minus eight and a half inches away from me. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see. So the front is more shorter than the back because the front is going. I'm going to add breast to the, the fabric. Okay, guys, you can see, I just minus one and a half inches from the back side because that is what I'll be using for the zip. So the bust. So the bust I'll, the bust length is eight eight inches. I just mark eight inches eight inches plus two inches allowance for seam allowance. So just mark it there. So from from the half length I will mark eight and half. So from that eight and half, I'm going to mark on that bust. So the under boss is seven inches, seven inches plus two inches allowance. That is nine. So from so the half length is seventeen. So seventeen. The waist length, the waist measurement is seven and a half. Seven and a half plus two inches allowance. That is nine and a half. Then I'll just mark it there. So from the shoulder to the waist is 24. That's the hip measurement. So the hip is 9. 9 plus 2 inches allowance. That is 11. So I'm going to, so at the damp part, I'm going to minus 1 inches from the hip. Then I'll make it. Eight, eight plus two inches allowance. Then I'll just shape it. After then, I'm going to trim it. Just mark one inches. So where I notice, I'm going to turn it from there. Use my lining to turn it from there. So I'll just open the back side. Hmm. 
so guys now i'm going to cut the breast part so i just fold this fabric into two like this so i mark the length i'll be using is eight inches so i just mark it eight eight divided by two give us four so i'll mark it four so at the middle at the first part i'm going to make it three inches and half so at the center part i'm going to make it four and a half four, and a half, four inches and half then i'll just cover it so the other part the down part i'm going to make it the same three inches and half So after that, we just trim it out. Depends of the measurement you are using, guys. Depends of the measurement you are using. If you want to cut your breast part. So guys, this is the center part. So after then, I'm going to curve. I'm going to cut curve a shape, a sweetheart neck shape. I'm just going to curve it. So after I'm curving it, I'll just trim it out. Can you see guys? So after that, I'm going to use the other part to cut the two sides. Just place it like this. What you are seeing here is two fabric. I just fold it into two. So after then, I'll place it like this and follow the shape I use on my breast part. So guys, you can see this is the two sides. So the length, so the length I have here is ten because I use the bust measurement to cut out the breast part. Depends on the measurement you are using, guys. If you are cutting, if you want to cut breast part, anyway, breast part have different shape, different part. Depends of what someone wants you to, or depends of what your customer or. They want you to make for them. That is how you, you are going to cut the best part. So guys, that is it for today. So if you want to, if you want to sew your breast part, you just open the other part and then place the center, the center part like this. Then cut your breast part. Depends of how you like to cut your breast part. So I'm not going to teach you guys how to cut breast part. I know that is very easy. So in my next video, I will show you guys what to do next. Thank you guys for being here with me. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Bye guys. I love you all.